Florida Sheriff's Association is working with sheriff's departments across the state to make sure they are aware of the guidelines and protocols they should be following when it comes to dealing with citizens. News 13's Madeline Bierster reports from Franklin County tonight on how training simulators are helping officers learn. Deputies and correction officers are scheduled throughout the week for sessions in Milo range, use of force and firearms training. It's a good way to get the deputies thinking about what they might encounter when they're out on the road. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office asked the Florida Sheriff's Association to use this high end training equipment back in October and now their time has finally come. With real life and virtual reality situations, deputies and other staff are able to assess and go over what to do in different scenarios. They are loaning it to sheriffs across the state that don't have this type of equipment to do uh, pretty real life training as far as dealing with people, whether you have to use force, deadly force, or whether there's nothing at all. Sheriff AJ Smith wants to make sure their department is following all of the correct guidelines. We're also going over our use of force policy to make sure everybody understands that uh, what level of force is necessary and that we're not doing uh, the knee to the neck. Deputies participating in the training believe with the current state of the nation, the training is especially important to have. I think it's very relevant just to keep your officers up to date on their training and giving them some sense of a real life situation that could possibly happen and how to handle it and be a little bit more confident in what they're doing. The sheriff's office believes that this kind of training will help better prepare deputies and correction officers for situations that they could encounter. In Franklin County, Madeline Bierster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.